Hilton Furniture has a new owner, sort of. Money editor John Delano explains why the man who owned the company for decades decided to buy it back. He's back. Two years after retiring and selling Levin Furniture, Robert Levin told employees he has rescued his one-time family business from going out of business. Last night at 8 o'clock, uh, I was able to make a deal to extract our wonderful company uh, and to uh, continue on. His motivation? Saving over 1,200 jobs. All of our employees in Pennsylvania and Ohio are going to be retained and we're moving forward. It's overwhelming because we went from being to where we weren't sure if we were going to be here. And there were rumors and people said, well, he'll buy us back, he won't do, he'll do this. And it was really just speculation, so we never in a million years thought that he would. Employees were ecstatic. I couldn't believe it. I was totally shocked. I liken this to Mario Lemieux saving the franchise. He's our Le Magnifique. Obviously, this announcement was great news for the employees at Levin's Furniture, but Robert Levin says it's also good news for customers. We have a little backup on some inventory issues, so it may take a while to get uh, our trucks rolling and furniture and mattresses delivered. But rest assured, any commitment that we've made to our customers will be fulfilled. And it wouldn't be Levin's without this. We are going to have an incredible sale very soon. <laughs> John Delano, KDKA News.